to actually get the content to your website you're going to need to pull all of this code and you need to rather uh, paste all of this code into your script.js file so I'm going to take it again there are uh, when I look through the um, through the article there's no dependencies so there's nothing I need to add there's no like uh, jQuery UI or, or other plugins I that I need in my site so this should be fine um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and paste it into my um, oh you know what before I even get started on working on this document I need to do what I always do and since I'm already done with the weather part of my project I'm gonna create a duplicate and this is going to be the Wikipedia okay and now let me go back to Dreamweaver and there we go I'm going to go into my file and in scripts.js it's pretty empty right now I'm gonna put this code in like so okay now what do I need to change in this code to make it work for me well I need to make sure that I'm targeting the right place over here because this is targeting a div container called wiki info and I, and I don't have that but in my code I have it's called information so I'm gonna just copy that and since I'm here let me just delete all the stuff I have in there currently and um, I'll do what I did at at my at my weather widget I go uh, Wikipedia generated um, actually why don't I do Wikipedia API generated info and uh, let's see let me let me put this article in there so I could reference it if I ever need it I, you know this is just a class project so I'm not necessarily worried about putting in the URLs that I found this thing for this is just for me and my own notes I'll tell you if I were to if this were a live production um, page that's going out I wouldn't put this kind of stuff in there right any extra code besides like comments that are going to be useful for you and uh, there's no you know I probably would recommend not doing it so um, alright I took this out here's what I need I need the information div ID I need to target this code like so okay and why don't I kinda indent that as well because that that's all extra stuff happening inside this get JSON function um, if if you read the article you'll see that this is actually a loop to fix how the links pop up in your page and um, well let's give this a preview uh, okay we got some going cool okay this is Google um, that was just what what they were uh, what the art author was um, looking for so okay now I'm gonna need to change this uh, query to what I need it to be and essentially here's what you need to change so in the part that says page and equals and it's looking for Google Google is the um, the title of the Wikipedia page check this out so if we go to Wicca when we go to en Wikipedia and then I put in Google oops I put in Google our here we go okay but but the page name right there is Google and that's how it's pulling it off right there at the end so why don't I search for what I'm looking for which is St. Petersburg Russia and okay let me find my page okay this is the page that I want so here's what I need to copy and paste in there to switch that up right at the very end right so I'll copy that I'll go back into Dreamweaver and instead of having page equals Google I have page equals the St. Petersburg And now I'm gonna refresh my page uh, you know what when I refresh my page keep an eye right down here and you'll see that when it's loading 
it, it takes a second right it's there it is it's loading transferring data okay awesome so now I got my st. Petersburg page pretty cool so now let's see what this looks like in a different browser Internet Explorer oops let's see maybe I'll just go through it this way and ooh, done but it has a problem what's the problem okay um, let's see let's check this out on Safari yeah error opening oh, look at this I got an error it says one error in opening the page for more information go to window and activity let's see what kind of uh, what this is telling us oh it says loading animation was not found oh well that's not okay alright well regardless the deal is, is that it's not popping up uh, the only place this is going to show up for you is on Firefox and if you refer back to the article you'll go scroll down to some of these people's comments and someone said that they had a, a problem as well you know it works in Firefox but it doesn't work in Opera but actually it doesn't work in anything else other than Firefox and that's because if you go down you'll see that he says changes json.parse.text.asterisk which is a wildcard to this brackets quote asterisk so keep in mind that uh, you're gonna need to make this change so copy this load this up into your uh, clipboard go back to your file and where did it say that okay so the second line of this code over here he's saying that this this is actually what's causing the trouble just this asterisk so let me just highlight this whole thing and it should look exactly the same except okay the brackets and the single quote so now when I do that let's go back to Internet Explorer and almost there oops did that come up almost let's see felt like it eh, interesting it almost like it almost kind of flashed did I did I save that in there let me see if it works in other ah oh, there we go okay it's getting me worried for a second yeah look so loaded up it, it, it took a second to load but now if we go even to our Safari it'll be it's loading it's loading okay it's doing it alright so essentially um, this is a little nuance that's obviously easy to miss and uh, just make sure that you always keep an eye on your article because uh, although the author may have initially just put up that post and it was fine at least you know when he tested it on Firefox he may have not done any cross uh, cross browser testing and it didn't work but some of his uh, followers over here did and um, at least this was a, a very easy fix it wasn't too too bad for us